to do my uh, daily ringworm treatment for all nine of my fosters and this can take anywhere from an hour to two hours straight and I file it all right and you can see the lovely bits of fur that are missing all over her ears because ringworm uh, kills the hair follicle and um, so the big part of it is you know when you just brush her uh, you, there's you know sometimes you can see a scab but sometimes the fur is so thick that you can't see it um, and here of course is where the hair has already been pulled out and um, there's some scabs there that are mm, not exactly healthy looking scabs um, it's still somewhat infected I mean but you know I'll be applying topical to all of this too so but first and this is the actual oral ringworm medication which oh, no no uh -uh, you're not done you know that silly uh, which is it itraconazole and this lovely syringe without a needle here and you have to shake it and keep it refrigerated and she gets a very small amount because she's a very small girl despite her age I think she'll always be a very small girl we do the same thing just put it in the corner back of the mouth and she's it's such a small amount and she's so good they're all so good at this point basically and then she her eyes get itchy and this is all missing because she transferred the fungus because she's always oh oh my face itches and then she transferred it there and then the hair came off there so I have to make sure that that's relatively clean which it looks like it because there's no hair left <laughs> to get dirty basically but it was all gross before that and then we'll take the topical which is called uh, Automax uh, not everybody uses this I guess it's pretty strong because it's got three active ingredients in it um, it's just this white gel it doesn't sting or anything I know I know it's okay I'm gonna put it on your face and be careful not to get it into your eyes yeah and like not rub your whiskers backwards either because that hurts too they're like so sensitive right there well we got to put it on your pause even though it looks pretty good it's definitely healing there but her nail in particular that's another area um, I don't know if you can see the dew claw I'm extending it for her uh, which doesn't hurt except for the fact that it's a little bit swollen uh, like if you look at the other ones the the pink part is not I don't know can you can you see I what I'm saying see a little bit. yeah and so I have to extend all of their claws every day um, and some of them actually learn to open their claws for me just so I can see it um, and get it done quicker because um, in between the pads is a lovely place for fungus to grow and the hair has to be taken off there so that you can use the Automax there and that of course is incredibly painful too <laughs> um, so now we're gonna do your ears just the parts that are so I use a lot of all these medications to say the least So I have no idea, you know, how much this is costing Planned Pethood for all the meds and stuff. So, but we're all done. You're a good girl. Yeah. Mwah. He's a good girl. We didn't cry at all. Nom, 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 nom. Okay, good girl.